presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report. <laughs> For a year, and and also your morning, your your call letter and stuff like that, and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. An agreement doesn't work. Change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 147, NASDAQ's up 130, SP's up 30, gold contract up $2.10, traded at 1866 an ounce. We got silver up 50 up five cents, $25.35 an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, $80.89 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year. Right now, up seven ticks, trading at 130.17. The 30-year down 14 at 161.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar's off 70 ticks, trading 95.10. Euro is out here at a price point of 114. The British pound is at 134, and the yen is at 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well... What we did yesterday is this. You had a sideways move out here yesterday, kicking into the weekend. Bottom line, wants higher price. You get 29 million shares traded. We came down with the 69. You know, the bottom line is that my take is we're going to go after these highs again. That's, that's how this thing is shaking out, man. Um, you set up in the right time of the year, folks. Uh, it's Thanksgiving next weekend or the weekend afterwards. The bottom line, going into Thanksgiving, going to the holidays, markets... Just like it, they're, they're happy. They're happy campers. NDX 100, we take a look at the uh, three Qs out here. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs right now, that's up 375. You're at uh, 394.36. And we'll, bottom line, we'll see uh, exactly uh, how it wants to handle this high. If we take a look at some of the leaders in there, uh, Micron Tech is up 4%. You get, doc, uh, you get DocuSign... Yeah, DocuSign's up 4% 4, 4 PayPal, 3.5%, Netflix, 3.2%. Taken away from it. Tesla down 3%, uh, 3.5%, Peloton off 2%. Uh, if we go back to Micron Tech and to take a look at Micron, folks, okay, it's blowing away a B point, blowing away with volume. Bottom line, wants higher price. And, you know, it's a, this is a big ABC structure on the way up. 76 is approximately 65, so you got what? That's 11 points. We're talking uh, 80, approximately 84. Right now, you're at 77. So there's some juice out here. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at it. Uh, for Friday, I'll take it all, man. <laughs> uh, the bottom line is that gold wants to trade up to this 1925 uh, area, so it's going to be intriguing. Uh, it's set up really nice right now, man. We had that monster sign of strength on Wednesday. Uh, you get lower yesterday, had light volume. Today, you're pushing into highs, and you got, you're going to have uh, almost 200,000 contracts. That's what you need in order to get up into this uh, 1922. Uh, and I suspect what we actually have going here is that we just may go right to this 2,500. It's, I mean, when you take a look at a longer-term chart, that's how that baby is set up. Let's go to our man Dave in Boston. Hey, Dave, what's going on? 
Good afternoon, Tom. How are you making it? I'm doing great. Well, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. I know I was trying to take you at the end of yesterday, and uh, but guess what, man? You're right back, and I love it. We're right back at it. Well, like, it's like welcome to the land of ice cream and cupcakes. It's all good, right? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. So uh, not to put any um, downer on it, I'm, I'm, do you see anything? I haven't talked to you for a little while. I haven't listened to you. Have you, do you see anything in the real estate sector that, or any sector for that matter, that, that could throw a, a nice bucket of ice water on this, uh, this party? It just seems so, like I say, go on forever. And, you know, some of the stories I hear in the ethos are, you know, they're not good stories, but I just thought I'd ask you in, in terms of a general sense. When you say, um, you, tell, tell me a couple bad stories. Well, the Evergrande story would be one. Um, I know that that has, it feels that, like it has some... That's in China, to it though. And Go ahead. I say that's in China. Right, but I mean, in a lot of cases, the, those, uh, whether their bonds are held in, in a lot of uh, pension funds in this country, and I'm just, that would be one of them, and then... Just in as far as the uh, the debt being taken on our GDP to, um, you know, debt to GDP, I, I'm just kind of wondering if you have any sense that the, the party could end, you know, almost like COVID. I, it was almost like the party was rolling then, and then uh, COVID came along like a black swan, I guess we can call it. Oh, for sure. And, yeah, um, right. Just, just your general so, sense. So, I mean, it, it, it no, doesn't listen, seem a, to be like convincing eyes, but with all the problems, it seems like it just keeps marching forward. Yeah, I, well, I agree with you. I just don't see all the problems. Um, you know, COVID is a monster problem, still is, will be for a bit. Um, the Evergrande deal, that could have been a monster deal, okay, I suspect. Um, I don't, I, I think what's going to happen, yeah, there's going to be losses. Um, there's going to be funds that lose money, that's for sure. Um, it's certainly not, it's not going to, you know, tank our market. Um, what, real, what China okay. actually just did um, three days ago is that they just opened up the financing again for all their developers over there on the state banks. Okay. And specifically inside of that, folks, what they did is that when they opened it up, they're going to allow the state banks to give the developers money in order to pay off dollar bonds outside of China. So, you know, China knows, they, they, they know that they've built a, you know, a, <laughs> a facade and, you know, a bubble beyond belief. There's no doubt about that. Um, that, that there, though, is, is going to, you know, smooth that out. I think that's going to be a problem. I think you're on to that, and I think it's a problem. But I, I, it certainly is not going to tank our markets. Real estate, I would say, in the whole United States, um, you know, down in St. Pete, Tampa, these things are still cash flow, and even though things are getting more expensive in, in a big way. So, okay. I mean, I think, here, just stay with us a second, all right? Because I just had a friend Shall come back go. from uh -huh. New York City. Stay right there, folks. We get the Dow Industrials right now up 158, NASDAQ's up 139, S&P's up 31. We'll come right back, folks. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 155. Nasdaq's up 141. S&P's up 31. We're talking with our man Dave from Boston, and we are talking markets. We're talking real estate. Um, so, Dave and, and folks, um, what ends up happening is this, is that different parts of the country, I suspect, are totally overvalued real estate-wise. No doubt about that. The real question is going to be, are they going to get more overvalued because we're in inflation? Like in the St. Petersburg, Tampa area, they still cash flow in, in a huge way. That being said, one of my buddies just came back from New York. Now, when you, when you read the Bloomberg articles and everything else, folks, they're, they're saying that the rents have gone up astronomically in New York, that the bottom's already in. But I can tell you flat out, um, his wife just came back last night. They were up there. His daughter goes back and forth. And he was telling me, so places that were like 1.25 million, Dave, um, you know, yep. before, uh, just I'm, I'm going back even seven or eight months ago, uh, are basically about 900,000, 850. So um, I suspect there are certain places that, you know, have got hit. There's no doubt about that. But I don't right. see, I don't see like an Armageddon coming. That's for sure. You know. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, even even our own town, Tom. Um, anything inside of now the 495 belt. I mean, it. You know, you can't even look at for under a half a million dollars. It, it just right. gets a little bit. Um, you're in Nashua, insane. right? Go you're, ahead. you're in Nashua, right? No, I'm in Boston. Oh, you're in Boston. Okay. Okay. I'm in Boston, but like any anything inside the 495 belt, it just really makes it difficult to look at for under a half a million dollars and um you know which really starts putting the uh pu pushing out um the prices further beyond that which are i don't know maybe a hundred miles now outside of outside of downtown Boston, and, and um you know those prices are going up as well so yeah no that makes sense just, i mean you know everything down here is you're talking eight nine hundred thousand so yeah i mean that's if if you want to live in a major city, that's that's how it is. Period. I mean, that's you know. Right. That's, I guess. I yeah. guess. Well, anyway, so look, I don't want to take up your show. Thank you for your time. Have a great it. one, and, man. Uh, thanks for all you do, Tom. Great talking to you, too, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank you. you uh, okay, so now let's see what's going to be next. I will go to Airbnb because uh, what happened? I got a couple questions here. So Airbnb, what Airbnb did today? They're up fifteen bucks, folks. Trading two oh seven seventeen. Uh, the highs two nineteen ninety four. This is a, this is a nice setup, man. Um, and what the Airbnb just did. Okay, so check this out. This is a one way route on the way up. 
Airbnb just opened up that you can actually book a full year now. And what they're doing simultaneously is that they're going to be guaranteeing what the Wi-Fi speed is. And what this is all about, folks, is this, is that they're getting so many requests that people can basically work in different places and that they, could, they can go somewhere for a year. So Airbnb changes to a year. And simultaneously, this, this wouldn't be a, uh, as much of a problem in any of the cities in the United States. But you got to remember something that Airbnb is a worldwide company. Um, bottom line is that uh, what they're going to do is uh, you book something, no matter where you book it, they're going to tell you exactly what the speed is for the Wi-Fi in case you are th working there simultaneously. So pretty cool. Zillow, we get another question on Zillow out here. We take a look at Zillow. The low in Zillow is 68, the high is 208. Now, we know Zillow was flipping houses. Um, it was the CEO that made the crucial mistake, and it was a mistake right from the get-go, too, folks. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the bottom line. So the real question is, is that where do you want to buy Zillow? Um, Zillow is trading 63. I said we got down to 63.13. Uh, I'd let this thing try to get it to 56. That's, that's kind of how I would shake it out. Now, I think that Zillow is going to be a buy and a half. And this is why, folks, okay? This is what hasn't been... They, what happened is this. Zillow got all the um, press because they're going to lose so much money. And they are going to lose a fortune. I mean, it's going to be over... It's probably going to be like $2 billion, okay? They already wrote off a billion. The headline number that you see is $583 million. But that's not the number, folks, okay? That's a one-time number. They already lost 353 plus the 583. There's got, there's got, they, and they got 8,000, they, they still got another 17, 20,000 houses. That being said, though, this is what they did. And if you, if you uh, are on Zillow, as soon as they were doing that, then I start getting um, emails. And this is the business they should get in is the mortgage business. So if Zillow goes full force into the mortgage business, I think they really have something. Because the difference is flipping houses is not a wide price spread deal. It's, it's intense in the, the amount of money you have to put up for number one. You have the closing cost, and you're gonna move the house, you can fix the house, all that. Mortgage business, man, is heaven. You're, you're talking about pushing paper around, you get a wide price spread, big number. So I suspect, Zillow could use all the information they have to, bottom line, get in the mortgage business. And then they could compete in a monster way. And I suspect that's exactly what they're going to do. So keep your eye on Zillow, no doubt. Pot stocks. We get the pot stocks moving out here. They're smoking it up, baby. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Can it be growth? It's up, a, you know, a buck 47 right now. I'm trading 15 bucks. And it has volume behind the move. So can it be right now? Bottom line looks to me, let's see, weeklies. We just, it's going to be interesting if they hit a bottom because this has been a one-way move down since their all-time high. Cannabis stocks, I mean, all the pot stocks have been going down since February of uh, this year. So uh, what are we, uh, yeah, it's November, right? Yeah, 10 months. And you can see on the, see on this on the weekly, you get wide price spread, you get accelerated volume. That's like canopy. You're at 14. That thing wants to go to 22. Tilray. Let's go. They're, they're all moving. I don't know why they're moving, but they are. Yeah. Well, they're moving because people are buying them. That's the bottom line. We take a look at Tilray. Tilray's up 97 cents. That, the low is $6.66. Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> Last time I saw that 666, that was the S&P number, folks, at the lows of 2007. 666. The devil's number. Um, Tilray. So Tilray also taking its B point out. So it's, yeah, Tilray, want, that that's wants to run to, what, $16. Let me put this on a weekly. So Tilray, oh, right there. Yeah, well, first, oh, I see it's overtaking that right now. Tilray's not as clean as... Uh, Canopy, that's the bottom line. Tilray can run to 16, though. 16, you're at 1286. Kronos, C-R-O-N, let's see where this is. 
This is a nice setup. This is trading at six dollars nineteen cents. Put this on a weekly. Man, these stocks. Are so this is game to like, you're at six nineteen seven thirty two. Um, this this some action out here, man. We'll see whether you get follow through. That's the on the equities that I just brought up. That's the third sign of strength that they got in a couple weeks, and that's what you look for, folks. Uh, when things have hit bottoms, particularly after um, they took a trashing in, in a huge way. Dow Industrials up 171, Nasdaq up 152, S&P's up 33. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 180. You get the NASDAQ up 159. S&Ps are up 36. Let's go take a look at this Dow. They're going to run the, star, the, the, the whole indices right into the close, folks. Uh, okay, so the Dow... Yeah, it's been down the last three days. Okay, so let me put the diamonds up and see how this thing is setting up. And calendar-wise, where the heck are we calendar-wise? Let me see this, figure this thing out. Calendar-wise, come on, baby, calendar-wise. Okay, so, yeah, th this is a bullish occurrence, man. We're going, I mean, next week is the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah, okay. So, the Dow right now, the diamonds, yep, okay, so this is what they did. On Wednesday, you had volume. Yesterday, you got light volume. 
Today you get light volume, you get a rejection of lower price. That says it can go right back to the highs again. Unreal. Uh, NDX 100, the strength. Oh, I already did the strength inside the NDX. Let's see what the strength is inside of the Dow Industrial. So inside the Dow, bringing it higher is Home Depot plus 34 points, Microsoft 28, 3M 23, Salesforce 19. Taken away from it, Disney minus 16. Uh, IBM 7, you got JP Morgan 4, and let's go over to Disney because that thing has no doubt taken a hammering. We take a look at Disney, that, oh, this is good though, I see. Okay, that's what it takes. So you picture this, folks. You, you, if you're a bull on Disney, you went down yesterday with 62 million. You get 22 million today. It's trying to test it. Oh, it would be great if it could get down there. That's 158. That's not bad, 33, 158.93, it's close. Let me put this on a weekly. So on a weekly, 121. So on a weekly, it's gonna, this is, this is a really close call. So on a weekly, you really wanna see Disney next week, or close, as soon as possible, test these lows because this volume's too high. We're already at 113, and 113 is going into 121, 123. Most times when you get that close, you're going to get another test of it. If you get a test of it and you get a rejection, then you get, then you get some action. It's kind of showing it out here today on the daily. But because the weekly's so big, let me see what the monthly is going to look like. Okay, so... 159 to 316, 159 to 316, and we've done, this is 10th trading day. Yeah, it's going to be a close call on the monthly too. Um, hey, we'll see where it shakes out. That's, that's the bottom line. That, that's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that definitely shakes out because well, there's no doubt we know that these parks are opening up and people want to break out. There's no two ways about that. Amazon. Let's go take a look at Amazon out here. Uh, Amazon right now is trading at uh, up $52. That's still in the consolidation, $35.24. Microsoft, who, which has been the strongest equity uh, inside of the marketplace. <laughs> it's going to be a mind blow if they takes out as high again, but very well. Well, actually, hold it. I think we looked at Microsoft. I want to see if this is a monster ABC up. It is. Okay. Okay, so look at this. Oh, man. Okay, so B.305. Oh, this is huge, man. Okay. 62, 67 A to B. 347. This got another 10 bucks, man. Well, actually, what was the highs? Yeah, 347. We're at 336 in Microsoft. 347 is the A to B. It's a confirmed ABC structure. You know, so you can see when you start bringing some of these up, and I don't, I don't know what, why Micron took off today. Well, maybe they come up with numbers. Um, but the bottom line is that you can see what's happening out here. Um, look at that. Micron shares up the most in seven months. Um, is that it seems that once you have one of them that, that starts, you know, either flattening out or pulling back a bit, the bottom line is that the next level up, um, so another stock takes it and runs with it in a, in a monster way. So um, <laughs> the, the bottom line is, is that uh, I suspect we're going to get higher prices. Let's go just take a, take a look at the IWM, which we haven't looked at. If we take a look at this IWM, came down with juice. Yeah, this is setting up to go hit its highs again, too. But the IWM, yeah, for sure, it's... This is, this, is, this is a decent setup. And, you know, what we have, oh, is that enough? 152. Look at this, man. Hold it. The IWM. Wow. Okay. We did this last week, and I, I didn't realize. I should have looked at this right away. So the IWM, folks, okay, we're going higher. The IWM, and what this is also telling me is that you're going to see that, uh, Commodity stocks continue to go higher in a monster way. This is a monster ABC up. It broke the B point last week, did it with volume, 234. 
It's a 90 point A to B, which gets you uh, 299. You're at 239. So it, it that's a big number, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a big number. That, that says, guess what? We are going to higher price. Um, what a trip. And, you know, the, now the, uh, the conversations are, are pretty amazing, meaning, uh, do you have inflation? Do you not have inflation? The only people that haven't come out yet because they're hellbent on the transitory letters and word are the Fed. Um, you know, inflation's raging. I mean, beyond belief. And what we probably are seeing right inside this marketplace is that this is just inflated numbers like it's going to be any type of well hard assets forget it they're going to go to the moon uh i've been through this before and when i was through it before i would uh, i just bought my first house i mean because you're talking a long time ago um but the bottom line is that hard assets they go top side the big way and even when rates do go up inflation is faster than the rates so any type of hard asset continues to go higher um pretty wild you know, it's actually pretty wild, too, folks. So picture, the part I build in St. Pete, right? This is, this is a cool story in general, just because we're in the marketplace, too. So Kathy Wood moved her um, business down here to St. Pete. Well, she not only moved her business down to St. Pete. The place that I build is in Palmetto Park. And I've been there, uh, I've been building there for seven or eight years now. And, and it's my playground in a big way. Uh, I'll be building there for another 10 years. And if you pull up the still house, you'll see... This is her hangout, and I have, a, I have a new saying because we're bringing up a whole website. That so Beach Drive, folks, is the um, that's the lottie dot place along the beach. The bottom line is that Beach Drive is for millionaires, Palmetto Park is for billionaires. <laughs> uh, pull up the Still House in uh, St. Pete, and you'll see this. This place is really cool. Now the cool thing about the Still House is this. Check this out. The the guy that conceived the idea is one of the Green Berets that when 9-11 happened, unfortunately, 9-11 happening, he was one of the Green Berets that went into um, Afghanistan on horseback. Yeah, that's how, and that's where, so the name of his booze is Hoss Soldier, and the name of the restaurant is Still House. So come visit us down at Palmetto Park. We'll have a blast. And we can get you in without a reservation, by the way. You can't, it's three weeks, four weeks just to get a reservation. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 204. Nasdaq's up 158. S&P's up 36. And uh, thanks, Ryan. So there's a movie. I didn't know there was a movie out here about this. So 12 Strong is the movie uh, about the story I just told you about the, the guy that actually started the still house, one of the Green Berets, uh, riding into horseback. Pretty cool. So let's go take a look at uh, uh, Umana Gold, AUY. Uh, we take a look at Umana. The low out here is the 382, the high is 616. You're trading at, uh, this is, they're yearly numbers when I bring those up for you, folks. Um, it's trading 447. Okay, so this is good. Oh, this is going to be interesting here. This could be one of the first ones. Well, they're all kind of set up like this that wants to basically take out this whole consolidation. I suspect it will. I mean, the, the way this is set up right now, so you might have to get over 475. You get over 475, and you're going to be up at uh, 544. That's, uh, that's how this baby's set up. And I believe this is what's cool. If you're in the metals market, when I actually look at this, I believe what you have right now, XAU. Once the XAU and the HUI actually took this out, the, the rest of them are going to end up following. Some are stronger than others, no doubt. Yeah, see, this is a different setup, though. I see what's going on. So the XAU still have to take out 146. You're at 143. It is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up that to a higher price than that uh, because we took out the B point on, on the indices on Wednesday. The Gold Bugs Index, I think it's the setup, setup's the same way, it wasn't it? Yeah, the Gold Bugs Index the same way. That's an ABC up, and the Gold Bugs Index is just about launching. Um, it, needs, it needs 281. Let me go back to Disney for a second, because I know I answered this differently yesterday than I'm looking at it today. That's for sure, Ryan, okay? And what it was... He, Ryan asked me a question yesterday about there's a gap at 155. I thought it, you were talking about gap much lower, but 155 can be hit in a second. One second, let me see this. Where are you, gap? Oh, I see. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay. Yeah, no, that can go to that gap. That can definitely go to that gap. And you see, you know, you know oh man, this is wild, man. You know, when you have gaps like this, folks, this gap was way too big to stay opened. What I mean by that is this. When, when you get a downturn and it pulls back, you have to be aware where these gaps are, as particularly something as big as this, because the top of that gap is 157 to 165. Yeah, you're talking about an 8 to 10 point gap. Um, and that'd be great. That'd be great getting it uh, filled. Uh, it certainly is coming back with... Uh, on a daily, tremendously lighter volume. But I suspect, you know what, that, gap's, that gap will get filled. And if it doesn't, it's going to get right next to it, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the dollar, if we take a look at the dollar, man. <laughs> the dollar, uh, you know, it's flat out here today, but, you know, the, the higher level, this dollar can get into, if we take a look at this, you're going to see, you, we, we took out the consolidation and... When you take out the consolidation, if we do a, you know, print on where this thing can go now, the bottom line is that 97,600 is game. So, uh, thus far, it hasn't basically done anything to the gold or silver market. Uh, it doesn't mean it won't, though, because the, the bottom line is that uh, commodities are priced in dollars. The thing that's going to be intriguing 
is that if, in fact, the uh, dollar pulls back at all, uh, we will see an acceleration like beyond belief. Uh, if you take a look at the euro, euro's hitting lower price. Let's see where we think the euro is going to go. So the euro is trading 114, and that, okay, so your breakout is 111. That's game, 111.85. You can see that's when we broke topside uh, in July. The yen... Okay, so the yen, that's at highs. It failed today, 114. So the yen looks like it wants to go down where its strength was, is 112. So that would bring the dollar lower because that's, as the yen goes down, it gets stronger against the U.S. dollar. And then the British pound, the British pound is the one that started this whole deal down. Um, and they, they did it when you had... Uh, Lagarde, Christine Lagarde, not go up on rates. Uh, they, they really thought the European Union was going to go up on rates, and then she didn't. Uh, not that, I don't know why that affected the pound, but it did. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you get a rejection of lower price out here today. Let me see how this sets up on a weekly. Yeah, on the weekly, there's not a real rejection yet. You know, you're at the lower end of this, so... Um, that's, that's, let's go take a look at the silver market. You got silver up four cents. Oh, this is an ABC up. This is cool. That's an ABC up. So let's go take a look at, uh, some of the airlines out here. And man, Jeff is telling me that they're getting they're back down a bit. So we get American Airlines down a buck. That has some volume behind the move. Oh, this got volume behind the move. Yeah. Yeah. So. Whatever's happening here, man, <laughs> there's some volume here. I think what's happening is that the pilots are ejecting. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, so, so here, look at this. American Airlines, an effort to starve off cancellations during peak travel times. American Airlines offered flight attendants and pilots extra pay for working flights during the holidays, but the pilots union voted to reject the offer. They're going to have to come up with more money, man. That's the bottom line. They take us to the cleaners, man. Um, they got to come up with more money. You're going to see this everywhere, folks, okay? Um, you know, they, they gave them, a, I, when I read this earlier, American Airlines had to cancel 2,000 flights um, for a few days at the end of October, the early November. They were citing weather problems in understaffing. Yeah, it's understaffing in a monster way. Uh, and the difference, of course, with the uh, airline pilots is that <laughs> you just can't pull the airline pilots off the street, that's for sure. Um, American often pilots, so check this out, American often pilots, 50% pay increase for flying during certain peak days around Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, an additional 50% increase for picking up extra uh, holiday trips. Um, and they said no. <laughs> uh, it's also offering $1,000 holiday attendance bonuses to ramp up workers, uh, mechanics, and dispatches. You know, bottom line is that, uh, you know, We've been through it, and you're going to see this continue to accelerate. Uh, the real interesting thing is that uh, is when is the Fed's posture going to change, if it's going to change, okay? This is what is going to be really wild. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's like, okay, so if they come out with another statement saying it's transitory, like, people are just going to laugh. <laughs> You'd have to laugh. It's like, really? Like, what kind of house are you living in that you just don't even go out to the store, that it's transitory, right? I mean, pfft, insane, totally insane. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 187. You get the NASDAQ up 151. S&P's up 34. Uh, stay right there, folks. Come right back. And I expect what we're going to see here is that uh, we're going to close at highs. Um, crypto. Uh, the SEC, uh, bottom line, can the crypto uh, equity again. The bottom line, there's an ETF that was going through. Uh, we'll get into this as soon as we come back, but uh, the bottom line is that they uh, said no to the ETF. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading uh, up 173, NASDAQ up 151, S&P's up 33. So the SEC, folks, once again, uh, bottom line, said a kibosh on a Bitcoin ETF that would actually directly hold Bitcoin. Uh, so let's see what they had to say. The, the commission has consistently required that the listing exchange have a comprehensive surveillance sharing agreement with the regulated market. Uh, of a significant size related to Bitcoin or demonstrate that other means to prevent fraudulent and manipulative acts and practices that are sufficient. The SEC said the listing exchange has not met that requirement. I don't know how it's ever going to be a requirement like that anyway, because the bottom line, is we know how much fraud is inside it and you know how many Bitcoins they, they lose. Now, the thing that's really wild is that they have no problem and this is, you know, people have a problem with this, and I can understand why inside the gold market. You know, they are, like, the GLD, folks, holds physical gold. That's the bottom line. Futures markets, different ballgame. And so, see, the SEC is saying, hey, you know, the bottom line, you know, I don't have a problem with the trade in the futures back and forth because what happens there is that you really trade nothing. Just, just you actually trade nothing. You paper and you have to put up so much money it, in its huge amounts, it's over 50% are just trading them, okay? So you're just trading a number going up and down that really nothing is there. Um, but guess what? You know, and, and a, lot of, a lot of things in the marketplace 
uh, that that's 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 exactly uh, what <laughs> what you have. OK, it's it's a benchmark. It is a benchmark that, you know, the bottom line is that you can go back and forth. Um, and I can see why they would do that versus having the ETF. And the reason would be, folks, is that you, me, the rest of us, we buy the ETF. All the Bitcoins get stolen fraudulently, right? Not the person's problem, but guess what? We're out all the money. That's, that's why they're not allowing that. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Great show. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Bam! Look at him, folks.